It began five years ago now. My mother was, is a residential school survivor and she was a witness to the Truth and Reconciliation Commission and uh, it was after one of the hearings in Saskatoon she just made a comment to me that we were hearing a lot about all the horrible things about residential schools and what had happened in the past but she also commented about the strength of Indigenous families and how they kept language and culture and alive and how people worked hard during hard times. So. That got me thinking about, okay, what evidence is there of that in terms of photography? So I began to research through archives, museums, historical societies, and tried to find photos that sort of reframed Indigenous experience, avoiding the negativity or framing it as, as something tragic, but rather the positive aspects of Indigenous life through the 1900s. I began to post these online, uh, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Mostly on Facebook because that's where most of the community is. And people began to identify the photos, name them, say that's my auntie, that's my uncle. And then stories began to unfold from that. And eventually we got, got to where it is today with thousands of followers, uh, a book that's just come out with uh, Knopf Canada, and this tra traveling exhibition which changes depending on where it is.